Hello and welcome to a tutorial for XFX Insta Transitions. There are a set of transition plugins for Final Cut Pro that have been made especially for 9x16 aspect ratio or vertical video. They're perfect for Instagram video, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat video, TikTok, etc. And I'll also detail how to handle 10x16 4K footage in a vertical video timeline. You'll find the plugins in the Transitions browser in the bottom right. As you can see, we've got them all listed there. We've also got some plugins if you click on the Effects browser as well and go down. And we've got these two fixed resolution effects there as well. But let's concentrate on the transitions. I have a set of 9x16 video clips in a vertical video timeline. As you can see from the top left hand corner, that's 2160x3840. So that's like UHD but turned on its side. And to apply the effects, all I have to do is just drag them from the browser and then play. And then you can see we've got that really nice side spin on the axis right on the edge of the frame and a nice motion blur. But if we look in the inspector, it only goes one way and we've got just the blur control on there that you can change. That's because it's quite hard to program to go the other way because the way you have to build up the tiles of different ones. So on the next transition, We've got it going the other way and you'll find that that's actually that's number two side spin anti-clock on there those transitions have got one variation each but if we go a bit further you can see we've got this nice diagonal split on here again you can control the motion blur in here and it's probably going to make it a bit easier if i just take it off so you can see as you can see we've got the right hand side going up and the left hand side going down we've got a variation here where we can actually go left up instead now what will happen is the left hand side will go up and the right hand side will come down. Put the motion blur back on and you'll see the effect happen the other way. So that's two variations and you can go through, we've got the box roll that's got two variations and that's the vertical half coming in again, two variations on that. If we look at some of the other effects, let's take something like slam slide. I've already got that applied to the transition here. As you can see, it kind of bounces off the edge and comes back in again. We've actually got a load of variations with that. We've actually got four variations with that, again with the motion blur. And some of them have even got eight. So always check the inspector because you can fiddle with the motion blur and there might be variations that you can put in there. Okay, so we've now got a string of clips and they've all got transitions between them. They're all vertical video and it all looks as if it all really works well. Okay, now we want to put this inside an iPhone. So what we need to do is we need to make a compound clip so you can either go right click and go new compound clip or go alt G um, let's call this iPhone inside and that's great what I'm going to do is just copy it and go forward where I've got another timeline where I've got this iPhone background there and all I'm going to do is paste it on top and it disappears right so I have to shrink that down or I could use a mask I'm going to scale that down. I think it's going to be about 78% on there. And you think that, oh, there you go. That all looks great, but we have a problem. So if I play it, watch the top of the frame with the guy putting his hoodie up. We get this leap and then it goes back down again. Same thing, yet with the lemon that goes up and down. Now what's happening there? And that's because the footage that I'm using is actually 10 by 19. So it's 4K, proper 4K on its side. It's not 9 by 16. So what do we do to fix this? It's actually, it's really easy. Let's park on that. We go to the effects browser and we find the fixed resolution effects and just drop that onto the timeline on the clip. And now if we look at the lemon shot, it's absolutely perfect. It, it actually conforms the footage on the timeline to the actual dimensions you want. Even the guy with the hoodie, look, that should be absolutely perfect now. So these might be able to get you out of jail. It's something I love about Final Cut is that it keeps the dimensions going through timelines, but it can also, as you can see from here, um, it doesn't do what you want. So these two fixed resolution effects can get you out of jail on there. And that's about it. We do look forward to seeing XFX Insta Transitions on your Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok videos. We hope you have fun with them. That's it, goodbye.